Hey, welcome to the Duranify channel. Today I'm going to be working on this quadcopter. It's one of my favorite FPV quadcopters. And the reason why I like it is it's just got a beefy frame. It's the XL5 for my flight. But I think this is where my problems are, is these antennas have been taking a beating over the years. So this is what I'm going to be working on. It's the XL5 for my flight. I have a, a, a Mamba stack. It's the F405 MK2. And then I have the DJI air unit here. But I think this is where my problems are, is these antennas have been taking a beating over the years. So this is what I'm going to be working on today. And I'm going to show you my uh, workspace in here. And this is where I'm going to be doing uh, most of my work. And you can see here's my buddy's stickers on there. You, maybe you'll be able to recognize your own sticker there. So, yeah. I'm going to go and uh, get started here. Get my tools ready. I'm going to, so you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about there. Much faster this way. Got it. No doubt. So, yeah. And this is where I think I have a problem, right? In here. Right in there. Yeah, check this thing out. This is actually made for cutting uh, engraving wood. But I'm going to use it to cut away all my uh, TPU that I was using here. So I do this uh, 3D printed parts that I put on here. And that's my 3D printed antenna holder that just got beat up big time. So it's going to be smoky. And here we go. Let's see how it works. I'm going to cut right down the middle first because I know there's nothing there. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. So we are duranifying here, okay? Wow. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but yeah, it just cut. Let me turn it so you can see it here better. It just cuts right through it. Oh, that's good. So I can do the rest. With a little bit of a touch. I don't I don't wanna I'm gonna cut this heat shrink tubing all the way around here too. too cause, uh, yeah when I crashed out in the field that was doing the repairs out there and the oh look at that my screwdriver this hot thing. Um yeah. Oh yeah it cuts right through that. Okay. It's falling right apart. Yeah. Okay, and that's, oh shit, yeah, that antenna broke inside, oh no, antenna broke inside, see right there, it's all broken, so the little collar that goes around the little pin, it broken inside the air unit. Oh, same what? Same here. These two are broken in there. There's, you try to rescue them by pulling them out. Ah, crap. Those things snapped right there. Ooh. Okay, so the fix is this right here. These little guys. Or where the antennas plug into. And that's what you have to replace inside the air unit. 
sucks, but got to be done. You know, two on a box right there. You can save five, ten dollar pieces, you know. Just got to do the work. Welcome to FPB Flying. So welcome to FPB Flying, right? <laughs> the conversation is all about. Oh no. You know, I break my stuff all the time. But I fix it all the time. Because I love doing this stuff. It's really fun for me. Okay. Let's get to it. Those guys right there. And probably the top ball. I need to get a little persuasion. There it is. That's the board I need right there. Yep. Looks like There. And I'm free. See? Yes, just one shot. Okay, we got the heat transfer stuff. Let's see if we can get scrape it off here. Put it on the here. Yeah. Yep. Big one. All right, so here we are. Trying to put this thing back together is not the easiest thing in the world. But um, yeah, I'm just finished soldering this little guy right there. And I don't want to touch anything because it's hot. And uh, now I just ended up soldering it right on here, as you can see, right here. And I didn't record the soldering because it's a little boring, but yeah. It's soldered on there. You can see my sloppy soldering job, but I think it's going to work. So, yeah, it's freaking awesome here. First things in our order here is to put this cable right back in its place. Okay, both cameras are on, and let me show what I got going on here, guys. It's going to be a little tricky. This mylar cable needs to have this this retaining clip screwed on there, but this here is what holds it on there. And what we have is this alignment pin here, this one, 
needs to go into this little hole right there on this side. So let me get that lined up right. Yeah, there it is. Thought I had it. and tight. I should be able to clip. Get Okay, so everything's been done as far as that goes. Now it's making it. Plug it in, I should say. There, hard to snap. I gotta get this guy. Out of the way. Second side is giving me a hard time. So there it is. Now, the tricky part next is putting antennas in, which I have brand new antennas here. So these are the two brand new antennas and you'll be able to see the difference what happened to them. See that? Big time problems. So that things. Before I do the second one, I'm going to verify a couple things. Oh, Alright, it's time to put the antennas on. There's no easy way to do this. Snap them in there. Snap the TPU in place. to use my antenna uh, mount. Just 
it was just adding too much pressure in that joint. And the way this thing is set up, I think it's going to be just right. So, I'm just going to wrap it in here to the post or to this. Uh, I get a tie wrapped in there. It's actually about or didn't know well. <coughs> okay, so this guy is ready to be bashed again. Yeah, I'm digging these. 